welcome back to my channel. My name is Jaylee Ann and today I want to talk about a very special Target collab coming on April 2nd. So many of you who are pastel, Disney, Lily headband loving, Love Shack fancy loving girls know that Stone Clover uh, is an amazing brand. Backpacks, Patches, patches, collaborations with Disney, princesses, tie-dye, everything pastel and girly. So on April 2nd, Target is doing a fun collab with Stony Clover Lane. And let me tell you, this collection is going to be huge. I was just thinking, you know, the typical backpack stuffles, pouches, patches, cute little stuff here and there. They're coming out with swim, pull floats, dog collars, dog toys, hard-sided coolers, a suitcase, sweatpants, a dress, sweatshirts, a tie-dye making kit. I mean, you name it. You can go on Target's website. It is all there for you to preview with prices, where it's going to be located, or if it's on online only. It is the most perfect collaboration. So usually... For the most part, Target collabs are, you know, not the quality of the OG. So let's, like, let's remember back when Target collaborated with Missoni. So obviously it was more of a Target um, quality, but it wasn't, it wasn't bad. It was nice, but it wasn't as nice as it could be, right? So... I actually have two Stone Clover and Target double bags with me right here that I'm going to show you and I'm going to talk about the quality, how it differs from typical Stony Clover and the Target collaboration. Um, before I even show you or you ask how I got my hands on these, I am a reseller. I go out and I hunt. I find things. So these did not come from Target. I didn't buy these at Target, okay? I don't work at Target. An employee did not give these to me because I asked. I, if you are familiar, the, the store is not around the whole US, this may have some more Southern states. There is a liquidation store called Dirt Cheap. So they get their items from Target, Lowe's Home Depot, uh, Claire's, I mean, I've seen multiple brands there, but for the most part, it's Target, okay? So, somebody that works at Target probably found these items in the back stock and scanned them, and they probably rang up at zero dollars, zero dollars, because they are not released yet. They are not out, so that signifies that they need to be liquidated. So, these duffels were sent to dirt cheap. That is where I found them. So anybody can freely go to Target and look at the prices. So the duffels are gonna be $40, correct? So at their cheap, um, they always have percentage off of things. So bags were 40% 40 40 off that day. So I paid $24 for these duffels. Um, one is missing the crossbody strap and is a little dirty on the bottom. And the other one is in perfect condition. So I have no shame that I have these. It's not my fault. It's Target employee fault. I mean, it happens. Things get transferred and I just don't think it's such a big deal. Um, I just wanted to point that out before I show you the bag because I really want to show you these things before the release comes out so you can actually have a real life input um, of the quality and the size and how nice it is. So maybe it can make your purchases easier on what you want to buy or if you want to stick paying the OG prices because of quality. So that's always obviously up to you. I just wanted to help make this collaboration better and show you how fun and actually these pieces are really nice, how nice they are. So first I'm going to start with the one that has everything with it. So here it is. This is the light blue stony clover target duffel. This is what the tag will look like at Target. 
It will say Stanley Clover and it has a little target symbol. And I will read you on the inside. On the inside comes with a little sticker. Okay, sorry to hear noises. There are people working outside right now, so ignore that. So I'll just read you everything. Lifestyle brand Stoney Clover Lane sparks self-expression through its line of candy colored customizable accessories. Now Stoney Clover Lane for Target brings you a limited time warm weather collection with countless options to mix, match, and personalize wherever your adventure may take you. Um, Sane has a removable um, crossbody strap. You use patches to make it yours. Um, this product is made with at least 90% recycled polyester and um, yeah, exclusive of trimmings, interlinings, and linings. So, and, and if you want proof that I found it at Dirt Cheap, here's the Dirt Cheap price. I'm not here to lie to you. I'm not here to show you, tell you that I'm special and got this bag before anybody else. I honestly thought this was from the 2018 collab they had a long time ago. I mean, I'm just starting getting into Stony Clover and all that. I have found that I have a um, pouch with a Nikki patch that I get from the Four Seasons in Disney in Florida. So that's where I kind of first started. So I'm by no means special. This is, this happened out of, if you want to call it luck, I just grabbed it because I knew Stony Clover was nice. I'm like, oh, this is from 2018, but when I took the tag off, it said 2022. So hopefully this information is special for all of us to show you that this is a really nice bag. So it has gold hardware, very nice candy blue. Um, here's where the crossbody strap will hold, has a little heart detailing, and on the other side too. Um, this, um, duffel bag is just maybe an inch or two smaller than the big duffel, the OG duffel, but it's not as small as the mini one. And the other thing that I can tell you that is different from the OG one is that this one does not have feet on the bottom, it's just plain polyester. And But another thing that's different and newer, it actually has a luggage, luggage strap. You just have to unzip, little zip right here, and you can see my hand went through, so you can put it on your suitcase. You can just slap it down, and then it sits there, so that is really nice, and if you don't want to use it for your suitcase, just zip this back up, and then this can just be used as a, another compartment, which is really nice. So when I compare this to OG Stony Clover. I really feel like this is still a nice fabric. It is very well made. It zips really smoothly, really nice. There are no inside pockets. Here is the strap that you can use as a crossbody strap. Um, I will take. Okay, maybe I'll show you the tie dye one doesn't have stuffing. Here it is, and it does have a little stitch inside that says Stony Clover with the target symbol in pink. So, yeah, this is the blue one. I know it comes in blue, pink, tie-dye, forget the other colors. I am very excited about the backpack in orange, though, and the white fanny pack. Those are on my list for the collaboration. But, yes, the stitching is very nice and straight. It feels good. I can stand up and show you the size. Overall, this is probably one of Target's best collaborations in a long time. Just because Stone Clover is still a small business, um, the two girls who own it care about their customers and love their product, and they make so many fun things for people to enjoy. So they did a really great job just by having this in my hands. It is immaculate. So let's go. Here is the tie-dye one. I'm just going to zip it up so I can... Again, tie-dye has all the same features. This one is the one that does not, that didn't come with the crossbody strap. It probably got lost in transit. Still has that luggage holder. 
in the zip compartment. You just want it to be in another compartment. The tag. Um, I think the tie dye is, it's a very pretty pastel tie dye and it's not neon or too bright. It is gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. What a good look at the inside. You have plenty of room. And again, no feet. This is the one that was a little dirty when I got it. Oh, it's kind of, sorry, I get a hold of it dirty right in here that's because dirty cheeks aren't the cleanest of stores but yeah this is it's really pretty if you're still into tie-dye I think this is the perfect duffel bag for you I just I don't know I guess I'm still in awe over the recycled material it is and that it does still feel nice the stitching is beautiful um, i think everyone will be really happy with this collaboration the prices are perfect you know the duffel this large duffel bag i think is 210 dollars on the og website this will be 40 so if you're looking just for i mean you're traveling if you're looking for something that you can beat up that you don't mind if it gets dirty at the airport I mean this is this is great and if you also want something that's cute and stands out at the airport it is great this is going to be a really fun collaboration I cannot speak on the clothing just because I have not felt it but the bags and the pouches and I'm sure the suitcase it's all going to be really really nice so I went to one target asking um if it's going to be in store at, at this at this particular store and they said yes but they just didn't know the stock so that's the only thing that always scares me about target collaborations is that are you going to wake up at 2 or 3 a.m to snack the pieces you want online or are you going to take a chance that you're target not knowing what kind of stock they're going to have most stores are going to have items but i just don't know what items what clothing what patches the suitcase the little things, the beauty items. So I think the two things I want for sure, I am going to wait on my target app. It tells me I'm central time. So it tells me 2 a.m. my time. It will tell you on your app, wherever you're located, what time it will launch. So make sure you check your target app. But I think I will wake up 10 minutes before 2 a.m. and um, snag the two items in the pet. I would really think in store target would have the patches but if you're out of luck you know stony clover has patches online too but i think i will snag the two items i want for sure online but i will still probably get two these ladies are crazy okay this is a cult following so i would probably get to your target an hour before you go so usually there's a line so last collaboration was last fall with Nelly Lowton and um I forget the other brands it was really crappy no one was in line the clothing was it wasn't nobody's gonna wear nobody was gonna wear that clothing none of it was good it was bad very very bad so the last time I ever stood in line at Target for a collaboration is when they had the Hunter ring boots that one had a line at my Target. Since then, there honestly, there really hasn't been a collaboration that I've been excited for. I know there was a Lily Pulitzer. I'm not a very Lily girl, but there, I think the Lily Pulitzer clothing clothing was nice. Then they came with more of the Missoni, the stuff they did like maybe 10 years ago. They did a re relaunch of it. But yeah, maybe since the Hunter ring boots and stuff, there hasn't really been something huge. Maybe the Vineyard Vines, I don't know. I'm not a Vineyard Vines person either. But this, if this is gonna be big, it will sell out. I will tell you that right now. It will sell out. It even says it on the Target website. You don't have to listen to me to know that. It will say this, the, these products will sell out. Will sell out. So if you do not snag it, you do not get it. You can go to your Target 
later that morning to see if they have anything, but it cannot guarantee you what the stock will be. You can drive to another Target. I cannot guarantee you what the stock will be. I don't even know if the employees can. Maybe a week before, you can go ask a manager and see if they know some more about it because that's what I would probably do. I will probably go in a week before the launch in store and ask if they know any more about what they're going to have in stock. Um, I think launches like this are fun. It's kind of, you know, when new collaborations come out, people get online and break the internet and fight for what they're looking for. I think, honestly, I love that kind of stuff. It, it's a, such a rush. It's kind of like going to an estate sale and being in this long, long line. Or if you like Supreme on Thursdays at 10 a.m., trying to find a box logo tee, fighting till the death for it. I mean, this stuff, it's fun. And if you don't get it, you don't get it. I mean, it's not the end of the world. This isn't a necessity, but it's fun. And if you can get it, you can get it. But hopefully, if any of you are watching are local to Dallas, Fort Worth, hopefully to see you at a Target near you, because I will be there at mine, but I'll also be up at 2 a.m. So coffee will be needed. So uh, good luck to everybody on April 2nd. It's going to be so much fun. It's so pretty. It's perfect for summer. So yeah, thank you for watching and let me know what you think below in the comments and like and subscribe and follow me on my Instagram at jadalianne. Thanks.